Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. That's because I look at the human body as a healing system, a regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable. And you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. Health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you there too. If you just want to get on a good nutritional supplement program, like the one designed by Dr. Wallach, and uh, you want to check out all the longevity products, we can help you do that at 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or you can call 866-735-2470 and sign up, sign up by phone or order products by phone as well for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and earn a living, make some money, make some spare change, or make a lot of money. If you like, it's all up to you. Just the more work you put in, the more money you'll make. And it doesn't really even require a lot of work. Hard work is always inversely proportional to value. The more value you bring, the less work you got to do. That's a a fundamental law of entrepreneurship, of business in general. The more value you bring, the less work you have to do. If you've got a product or a service that has a lot of value associated with it, it'll sell itself. You don't have to work hard. If you're working really hard at your job, that means something, somebody or something is not bringing value to the table. Longevity brings value at the most fundamental levels, in the most fundamental way, and that is with the health of the body. Nothing is more important than the health of the body, longevity supplementation, and the longevity business and the longevity philosophy are all about the health of the body, the most fundamental aspect of our livingness. If you're interested in joining the team, making some money, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team, or you can sign up right up the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you're in Austin or in the Austin area, I'll be doing a talk tomorrow night at the Westgate Lanes, Westgate Bowling Lanes, I guess, 2701 William Cannon, uh, and that's in Austin. And the phone number to call is 512-507-2928. Don't call the bowling alley. I gave out the phone number for the bowling alley yesterday, and they don't really know what's going on because we just rented a room there. Uh, The appropriate number to call for more information is 512-507-2928. Okay. Welcome back to the show, folks. We're talking connective tissue, and we're talking collagen specifically, and also the jelly that the collagen sits into. When it comes to the skin, it's all about the connective tissue. The surface of the skin is dependent on the connective tissue. This may seem like common sense, but when we really, really get this, when we really, really understand that the the key to healthy skin is in the lower levels of the skin, not in the superficial layers where most of our skincare products work, when we really understand this, we're not going to buy into all the silliness with creams and lotions and gels and topical products, even topical products that talk about collagen. And a lot of skincare companies, of course, are hip to the idea of collagen. They don't, they don't really say connective tissue, but they say collagen. And so they'll say, oh, rub this cream on your skin and it'll 
help you make collagen. Sometimes you'll even see collagen in a skincare product in order to somehow facilitate the growth of your collagen. This is silliness, epic silliness. You cannot have healthier skin by putting collagen on top of it. And this is, this should make people's bullcrap detectors go up. If you see a product that says, oh, we have collagen in our product and they're somehow implying it's gonna help you with your collagen, that's a red flag for a scam. Collagen doesn't do anything in a skincare product except maybe soften the surface of the skin because it does absorb water, but it's not going to help you with your collagen. Building collagen, building connective tissue requires the same kind of strategies that building connective tissue inside the body requires. That is, if you want to build the connective tissue in the skin, and this is the primary, uh, primary way to anti-age the skin or to slow down the aging process or to keep it from occurring, building the connective tissue slash collagen in the skin skin. It requires the same kind of strategies in the skin that it does in the body. That is nutrition and also exercise. Exercising the skin is a function of exfoliation. Exfoliation is skin exercise. Detoxification or even better non-toxification is also an important strategy. And when I say non-toxification, I mean keeping toxins out of the blood because the collagen in the skin grows from factors that are in the blood and toxicity in the blood will interfere with collagen in the skin. Remember the collagen slash connective tissue is the great dumping ground of blood toxins. How does the blood become toxic? Through food. And that includes sugar. Sugar destroys collagen. Cigarette smoke destroys collagen. Excessive drugs, medication, prescription medication destroys collagen. Alcohol also has a, has a collagen destructing effect. Building collagen is a function of nutrition. It's a function of food. You can eat collagen. Eating collagen in the form of gelatin, eating collagen in the form of bone soup, eating cartilage, collagen in the form of uh, cartilage supplements. These are all wonderful strategies. Eating collagen in the form of my bone broth protein, which you'll find at brightsidehealth.com. These are wonderful anti-aging strategies, not just, for, not just for the internal structure of the skin or the internal milieu of the skin, but for our appearance, for our beauty. Glucosamine, major player in building collagen. Glucogel caps from Longevity with gelatin, glucogel, glucosamine, and gelatin is one of the best anti-wrinkle supplements you could ever use. It's one of the best anti-aging supplements you could ever use. And of course, vitamin C, or as I like to call it, vitamin CT, vitamin connective tissue, is also fundamentally important for the driving or the production or the building of collagen. So the skin, as we've said so many times, is like a layer cake. It's made up of layers, and the real action is underneath, like an iceberg. You see the top of the iceberg, that's 10% of the iceberg. 90% of the iceberg is underwater. Likewise with the skin, 90% of the skin is is located underneath where we cannot see it. That is the dermis. The dermis is, is connective tissue. Like all connective tissue, it's made up of fibers, collagen fibers primarily, although there's another fiber called elastin, which gives the skin a sort of elastic quality, a bounce back quality. If you're, you're young and healthy and you uh, take a pinch of your skin and pull it up, it'll bounce back. As we get older, that bounce back does not occur quite as readily. That's a sign of aging, and it's a sign of the degradation of elastin, as well as collagen and another fiber called reticulin. The whole thing is, all those fibers, these, this mass of fibers is embedded in jelly goo, jelly matrix, which is made up of something called proteoglycan. Don't be put off by that word. Proteo just means protein, glycan means sugar, and protein sugar complexes, as well as straight sugars called polysaccharides make up this jelly matrix. And this jelly matrix also is where water is trapped. Water is trapped in this jelly matrix, and it's the combination of water and the jelly matrix, i.e. proteoglycan and, and polysaccharides, that give the skin its kind of plump, uh, robust, beefy quality. When we're young, we're healthy, we've got this plump quality to our skin, and as we get older, the skin develops this characteristic thinning appearance, and that is largely because the proteoglycans and the polysaccharides are, are starting to break down. It's not so much a collagen issue. The collagen is what makes the skin tight, but the plumpness is a function of the jelly matrix in the water. And like building collagen, you can build this jelly matrix up with good nutrition. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We 
are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have a comment on anything we're talking about here today or a success story you'd like to share or questions about skin health issues, wrinkles, aging, skin health products, or Truth Skin Health products, which you can find out all about at truthtreatments.com, our connective tissue driving Truth Skin Health products. That's the whole story of the truth. That is the truth. If you want to have beautiful skin, you've got to drive the production of connective tissue. If your skin health products are not driving the production of connective tissue, you're wasting your money, at least when it comes to anti-aging. In order to really, really have effect on the skin, on the dermis, on the connective tissue, on the fibroblasts, which is where we want to be, you've got to have high doses, you've got to have the right form of nutrients, and you've got to have two specific nutrients, vitamin A and vitamin C. We'll talk about that here in just a minute. If you're interested in checking out products that contain high doses of vitamin A and vitamin C in their correct format designed to drive the production of connective tissue, you want our Truth Skin Health products, particular, particularly our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. They will heal your skin as well as anti-age your skin, and they'll also soften and moisturize your skin, truly soften and moisturize the skin because they're nutrients, they're vitamin C, and they're vitamin A, as well as transdermal penetration and that's all you'll ever find in my True Skin Health products. Never any oil, wax, silicon, propylene, glycol, preservatives, fragrances, perfumes, water, any, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, and that's why they last for anywhere from, from six weeks to six months. A retinol 5% gel, when used as directed, will last just six months. If you're in the Austin area, I'd love to see you tomorrow night. Uh, January 26th, 6.30 p.m. at the Westgate Lanes, 2701 West William Cannon, Austin, Texas, 78745. That's the Westgate Bowling Lanes. Call 512-507-2928, 512-507-2928 for more information. If you've ever wanted to get through and couldn't get through on the program or if you have questions for me personally, I'm happy to answer questions. We spend a lot of time in my presentation answering questions and also uh, we go in-depth into various subjects that I don't get to cover as much as I'd like to on this one-hour program. That's the Westgate Lanes tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. Call 512-507-2928 for more information. Okay, so both the collagen fibers and the jelly, the extracellular matrix, come from the mother of the connective tissue, which is called the fibroblast. And this fibroblast, or activation of the fibroblast, is the holy grail of anti-aging skin care. You've got hundreds of ingredients out there, folks, thousands of ingredients out there, and thousands of skin care products, all which talk about anti-aging the skin. And some of them will tell you that they activate the fibroblast. If you're in the skincare business, if you're an esthetician out there or in, in the derma, dermatology field or you're a dermatologist, you know what I'm talking about. Turning on that fibroblast is the key to anti-aging skincare. And while you hear about all kinds of ingredients and products that talk about the turning on the fibroblast, you really don't have a lot of things that'll do it. There's not a lot of ingredients that'll do it. Now you need to have a healthy fibroblast. Before you turn on the fibroblast, the cell itself, and fibroblast, by the way, is spelled F-I-B-R-O, fibro, as in fibers, blast, B-L-A-S-T, fibroblast. This is a cell that makes the collagen, that makes the elastin and the reticulin, that makes the jelly, the extracellular matrix, the goo, the hyaluronic acid, which, by the way, is a major component of the goo. So you got to turn on the fibroblast, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But even before you do that, you got to have a healthy fibroblast. And a fibroblast is like all cells. It needs to have certain basic nutrients, not to turn on the collagen, but just to be healthy. Things like essential fatty acids. EFAs are a vital key player in the health of all cells, as well as in the health of the fibroblast. Your ultimate EFAs, therefore, make an awesome, incredible skin care nutrient, skin health nutrient, anti-aging skin health nutrient. Coenzyme Q10 is also critically important for the health of the fibroblast. Without coenzyme Q10, your fibroblast isn't going to have the energy it needs to make the collagen. Same with the B-complex, niacin and thiamine in particular. Vitamin E is also very important for protecting the fibroblast. See, vitamin E doesn't exactly have a skin health benefit specifically, but because it supports the health of the fibroblast, vitamin E plays a major role in skin health. 
And interestingly, the fibroblast cannot do its building work, its secretion of fiber work, its anti-aging work, its collagen production work, and its extracellular matrix producing and secreting work without cholesterol. Yes, cholesterol. Your fibroblast doesn't work. No cells work without cholesterol. This is one of the major reasons, maybe the major reason why this absolute biochemical idiocy, idiocy with a capital I of shutting down the production of cholesterol in the name of health is at the top of the list of medical, of failed and ignorant medical strategies. The fibroblasts, no cells can do their work without cholesterol. In fact, now doctors have this brilliant idea because they know that the fibroblasts cannot make fibers without cholesterol. Now, when this is unbelievable, when the, when the fibroblast makes too much uh, uh, fibers and it causes a condition called fibrosis, which we are definitely going to be talking about, fibrosis being a repair mechanism under conditions of constant stress and constant duress, the fibroblast puts out lots of fibers. That, ca that causes a condition called fibrosis, which is behind many, many disease states. Doctors now have this brilliant idea of starving the fibroblast of its cholesterol with a statin drug to stop fibrosis. This is the medical model at work. So it all comes from the fibroblast. From a topical perspective, it's only about vitamin C and vitamin A, period. Only vitamin C and vitamin A are going to turn on the fibroblast when applied topically. There are no herbs that can turn on the fibroblast topically, no matter what you hear. Only vitamin C and vitamin A can do it. These are the two most important ingredients for anti-aging skincare. I know I say it all the time. Repetition is reinforcement. Just vitamin C and vitamin A are all you need for anti-aging, for topical anti-aging when it comes to your skincare products. Vitamin, e and vitamin C in its fatty form. Vitamin C uh, in the form we call ascorbyl palmitate or also ascorbyl, just ascorbyl means vitamin C, tetraisopalmitate. Those are the forms we use in our True Skin Health products, by the way. And also vitamin A in its retinol form, or perhaps if you want to go all out and get a prescription, in its retinoic acid form. This is a very short list, folks. <laughs> Two ingredients. Now, you can also add alpha hydroxy acids, not so much because they directly activate the fibroblast, but because they function as weights, in the tr like weightlifting. Using alpha hydroxy acids on top of the skin is like weightlifting. It's resistance training. It stimulates the production of collagen the way weights stimulate the production of muscle and muscle tissue. Glycolic acid, lactic acid, those are the two biggies, but there's also tartaric acid and malic acid and citric acid and acetic acid, which is found in vinegar, apple cider vinegar, which I absolutely love as a topical product. Straight apple cider vinegar on the skin. It's also got some minerals in there. It does stink a little bit, but it's worth it. Alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid are available in most salons or uh, dermatol. I, I would personally go to a pharmacist to get it, have them make some glycolic or lactic acid. When it comes to these acids, by the way, it's not just the acid that you want to. It's not just the acid that's relevant. It's the pH level. You can have acids like glycolic acid and lactic acid that are neutralized to the point where the pH is basically nothing. So you got to have a little tingle. I used to make glycolic acid peels and, and toners, and people would always say, "Oh." that burns. I can't use that toner. It burns. No, it doesn't burn. A burn is when you touch a hot stove. Alpha hydroxy acids will tingle, but that's a good thing. That's telling you the nerves in the dermis are being affected. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, connective tissue or skin health questions or questions about uh, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you're in the Austin, Texas area, love to see you tomorrow at the Westgate Bowling Lanes, 2701 West William Cannon, Austin, Texas, 78745 is the zip code and uh, phone number to call, the phone number here, 512-507-2928, 512-507-2928 for more information. Love to see you tomorrow uh, at the Westgate Lanes, 2701 West William Cannon, Austin, Texas, 78745. Okay, we'll get your calls here in just a sec. A couple things I want to tell you about. This is from... Uh, 
This is from my favorite scientific journal, real easy to read, New Scientist magazine. If you like science and you don't want the stuff that's too all that technical, it's a little technical, but it's not all that bad. And they always have interesting stories here. This is from the latest edition of New Scientist. Check this out. Starve a tumor. Cancer's greed will be its undoing. Cancer's a greedy cell. Where have you heard this before, folks? I say this all the time when I'm talking to people dealing with cancer. Caloric restriction, caloric restriction, caloric restriction. I say it all the time. This is just more proof. Understanding how, this is from a new scientist, quote, understanding how tumor cells get their food could help us stop them in its tracks, unquote. Starve your enemy. Starve your tumor. This has a lot to do with, number one, nutrients, nutrition to the tumor, or I should say calories to the tumor, and it also has to do with insulin. Now, you don't want, you still need your nutrients. Caloric restriction doesn't mean starving yourself of micronutrients. Remember, there's a distinction between big nutrients and small nutrients. The big nutrients are the proteins, fats, and carbs, and they're caloric. They have calories. Calories are heat. Heat is work. The body doesn't want to work, or, or I should say the body would like to reserve its resources for the work of fighting cancer, not for the work of digesting your food, of assimilating your food. The less you eat, the longer you live, and if you got cancer, the less you eat, the less work your body will have to do digesting and assimilating and processing food, and the more resources it will have available to deal with your cancer. This is just common sense, but it's being shown over and over and over again in scientific literature. Starve your cancer. Make sure you get your micronutrients, your vitamins, your minerals, your mighty 90 essential nutrients, but restrict your calories and go soup. Liquids, liquid soups, vegetable, uh, uh, veggie, veggie juices, veggie soups, and of course, bone broth. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Chila in Austin, Texas. Did I say that right, Chila? Chella. 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 Hello, Chella. Greetings. How are you this morning? Good. Thank you. Um, I have a question about pityriasis rosea. Okay. Pityriasis. Pityriasis. My daughter was diagnosed with that after she had a sore throat. Yeah. And then it, I thought maybe it was strep. She got a rash around her neck. Okay. And then it went all the way down. It has gone away from her neck now, but it's all the way down all over her body. Okay. I'm going to tell you something that will make you smarter than your doctor, okay? Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Ra rashes are always about the immune system, period. That's what I say. Okay. And that's why she got it after she had her streps. Her immune system was depressed. And this is very common with pit pityriasis rosea or rosacea. Uh, pityriasis rosea for the listeners is just these red, it looks like the measles or some kind of rashy, it's hard to describe it, but it's just these red welts on the skin. Kind of looks like measles. Is that right? Is that where she's got it? Where that what it looks like? Looks like bigger measles, yes. Bigger measles, yeah. Looks like red welts. Always, 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 always focus on the immune system when you have unexplained rashes, particularly big red welts. This is a classic sign of inflammation. Your doctor doesn't know this because he doesn't understand the nature of the immune system in the skin. The skin is loaded, packed with immune cells, packed with immune chemicals. When I say immune, I mean defensive. It's absolutely studded with defensive cells and defensive chemicals. It's basically like the digestive tract in this way. In fact, I call it the digestive to track outside in, which gives us our major clue for dealing with this, my dear Chella. Look to foods and look to food problems. Does she have a history of food problems? Does she have a history of, of, of constipation or complaining? Or How old is your kid, by the way? She's 34. Oh, she's not now, a kid. You've helped her before with um, a milk allergy. She had a um, rash on her face. And it went and away. When, when she, did it go away when she stopped drinking the milk or when she stopped controlled her foods? Yes, yes. She's, and in yes. fact, she had been on an AIP diet for a long time and started to, it had reintroduced some food. So my, okay. my okay, so thought was that she probably needs another allergy test to see No, what she doesn't need an allergy test. She's the allergy test. Why, why do you go out? To, why do you go somewhere to have an allergy test? Eat a food, see what happens. <laughs> the allergy tests work. I, and I'm, I'm not just. I'm not being mean to you, Chella, but it just cracks me up all the time how we do this allergy test, and we'll actually go to some doctor and pay him a hundred dollars. And by the way, these companies that make the allergy testings, they are some of the most profit-intense companies on the planet with these allergy tests. It's a scam from day one. 
An allergy test tells you what's happening in, an, in, in a test tube or in a Petri dish. It doesn't tell you what's happening in your body. They somehow want you to go outside your body, go into a Petri dish, and then pay the guy 100 or 200 or whatever it is, dollars, to tell you what's going on in your body. Eat a food, see what happens. So if you have her do the elimination diet. It'd be helpful if she starts. I, I, I hope you guys aren't getting sick of me saying this, because I say it every day, multiple times a day, but it's so important. Whenever you have a rash or an immune condition or any unexplained health challenge, you start off by fasting for two or three days and then do the elimination diet. We already know she's got a history this way, so chances are there's other problems. Uh, dairy's a problem for her. Gluten is going to be a problem for a lot of people. Eggs can be a problem. Legumes. Those are, those are head starts, but it could be anything. So you do the elimination diet. Then also support the digestive system with the nightly essence, with ultimate enzymes, with apple cider vinegar. You can go to the health food store and get uh, extra bile, B-I-L-E, bile salts, uh, lecithin granules. These are all very helpful for digestive health. And then uh, also supporting and strengthening the immune system will be important. Vitamin C for the immune system, vitamin E for the immune system, vitamin A for the immune system, the Mighty 90, that goes without saying. I'll tell you what will not help, anything she uses topically with the exception of possibly a steroid cream, but that's not a good idea because the, the, the reaction is going to come right back as soon as she's done with her steroid cream. Nothing will eliminate pityriasis rosea or any other topical rash except in the short term, in a temporary fashion, nothing will eliminate it permanently that you can do topically because it's an immune issue that's coming from the blood. Clean the blood and you will clean the skin. Does that make sense, Chela? Chela? Yes, it does. May okay. I ask one other thing she started doing um, right about that time? An eye watch. She started wearing an eye watch. Uh, that wouldn't do it, although I don't know how that great the eye... Okay. No, that wouldn't do it, but the eye watch, you know, I don't know about... It doesn't seem like a great idea to have all that electronics on your body, but that's just the way our world is. So, But it's, that's not going to cause the pityriasis. That is a okay. classic digestive reaction, i.e. immune system reaction. Thank you for your call, and uh, hope you. we helped you out. Okay, take care. All right, let's move on to Elaine. Good morning. Elaine in Alaska, what is up? Hey, good morning, Ben. How are you? Good morning. Doing? I'm doing well. Oh, sorry. That's the music. What were you going to ask me real quick? Uh, a follow-up with a patient and then um, a kidney stones on a new patient. Uh Okay, good. Hang on. We'll finish up. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. And if you're on hold, we'll get to you as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We will return right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. Talking to Elaine in Alaska. What's going on, Elaine? Got to go quickly here. I've got a bunch of calls I want to get to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just real quick, a follow-up. Uh, my patient with uh, ventricular tachycardia. Yes. The first thing I did recommend was similar to what you said about the deep breathing. Yes. Saw him last night, and he he's kind of scientific-minded, and he just couldn't really believe it. Typically, his blood pressure floats around 150 over 98. Uh, he said he, he laid down supine for five minutes, did his deep breathing, which he was very good at, and um, he couldn't believe it. He got up, and five minutes later, he said his blood pressure was 120 over 70. Dude, I'm telling you, Lane, can I get a praise the Lord out of that? Come on. Praise yeah. God. Let's go. So hopefully he'll be bored, um, but to, I have another patient. He How was, about the tachycardia? How did, what happened with the tachycardia? Do you notice an improvement there? He has not had another incident. I'm telling you, man, this is what I'm doing the show for. You guys, did you hear this? He could have gone to, he would have gotten an ablation. Is that the guy that wanted the ablation or was going to get the ablation? Right, right. They yeah. were going to electrocute his heart for something that all he had to do was breathe deep for. This is, un I mean, this is, this is craziness, but it's the stuff that I hear all the time. Elaine, that's a miracle. Do you understand? Absolutely. You just saved his heart. You added years to this guy's life. And I hope he's, I hope he's grateful. That's all I got. I hope you got a big tip out of it. Yeah, thank you for what you do. So I have another patient. He was admitted to the ER with severe back pain, ended up being diagnosed with um, kidney stones. So just wondering oh, uh, if 
Yeah. Yeah. Started. Kidney stones are, that's a miserable, miserable thing. Kidney yeah. stones are, are typically made up of uric acid, sometimes calcium. They're a sign of cell death and lots of it. When the cells die, they release uric acid, they release minerals, they release their, their, uh, all their contents. And eventually, they'll, if there's enough of this cell death, they'll wind up in the blood. Uh, once the toxins are in the blood, the kidney filters the blood. It's very easy for the little tiny blood vessels to become clogged. Kidney stones are a sign of dirty blood, which is a sign of blood toxicity. First thing you want to do is all the digestive stuff that we talk about. Eliminate problem foods, food diary, eliminate problem foods. Even fasting will make a difference, but then when he eats again, he wants to do the whole elimination diet, eliminate problem foods. There's a major relationship between sugar and kidney stones, which makes sense because too much sugar will also kill the cells. So you got to go on a diabetic diet, and, and uh, diabetics and kidney dis diabetes and kidney disease go hand in hand. So when he goes on his diabetic diet and uses using his diabetic nutrients, he'll also save himself from kidney disease, and he'll add years to his life as well. Ketogenic diet uh, would be helpful for him. Caloric restriction would be helpful for him. Switching over from uh, calories derived from carbohydrates to calories derived from fat, even if he doesn't go full-blown ketogenic, just, just switching over, eating more protein, uh, the BCAAs, particularly the branched-chain amino acids, and then all the nutrients that are important for helping the body process sugar, including selenium, that's your ultimate selenium from longevity, the sweeties, chromium, vanadium from longevity, and then uh, uh, ultimate niacin from longevity, and then the beyond tangy tangerine as well. So you're going to focus on food, you're going to focus uh, toxicity that is, and focus on sugar. Uh, drinking more water can maybe give him some benefits in the short term, but as long as he's got that cell death and blood toxicity, it could be tough to deal with the kidney stones. So you got to do everything we just said, but also drinking more water uh, can ha can dilute some of the some of the crystals that are in the blood. But think of it as a cell death and a general toxicity issue. All right, Elaine? Sounds good. How, how is your book coming along? <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't be teasing me now, Elaine. All right. Have a beautiful day. Good to talk to you. All right. Uh, sorry I cut you off there, Elaine. Uh, let's go to Ron in Florida. Good morning. What's up, buddy? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Dan, I wanted to ask you about diatomaceous earth. So Love it. Flower Love and, diatomaceous uh, earth. Benefit. I've it's amazing it stuff. Day. You're a smart man. It's amazing stuff. It's basically dirt or clay. It, uh, it, it sticks to toxins. It adheres to toxins. It's a source of minerals. It is wonderful stuff and just exemplifies how easy and how inexpensive it can be to get into good nutrition. It's dirt, and it's, um, it's as cheap as dirt, or it should be, although some companies sell, a lot, it sell it for a lot of money. But it's, real, it's amazing stuff. Bentonite clay the same way. Kaolin clay the same way. Um, uh, uh, there's another uh, a product called Redmond Clay, which I love. It comes from Wyoming. Mm -hmm. That's great. That. Uh, Dr. Wallach's Colloidal Minerals. That's another derivative of these clay-like materials. It's wonderful stuff. I'm sorry. What were you saying, Ron? Um, how much should I do every day? As much as you want. Tablespoon, teaspoon. Okay. There's no toxicity. Don't worry. It may constipate okay. you if you do too much, but that's about it. I have the Redmond Clay also, but thanks. I wanted to ask you about that because I hardly hear you talk about the um, Dodge I probably should talk about it more. You're right. But it's, it's wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. I'm a big believer. All right, Ron. Okay. Got to go. Thank you for your call. Bye. Appreciate it. All right. Let's move to Rodney in Texas. Good morning, Rodney. What is up? How you doing? Yes. Thank you for taking my call this morning. I had a skin eruption uh, from taking a, a supplement that had uh, the mushrooms in there. Okay. And so I stopped using it. And when I went to the doctor and I asked her, you know, uh, about these uh, eruptions on my skin. She calls them skin ticks. Uh, skin ticks, all, she called them? Yeah. Hmm, I never heard and, that term. Skin tags uh, or skin? Are you sure it's not it, skin tags? Skin tags. Ah, skin tags, okay. Skin tags are not related to allergic reactions. Skin tags are gross, so they're not has nothing to do with the supplement you took. If it's a skin tag, it's a growth, and it's associated with sh blood sugar, blood sugar problems. And it's very common, even if you're not diagnosed as a diabetic, as we get older, our blood sugar control starts to wane, our insulin, insulin levels go up, our insulin becomes weaker, and we don't, just don't handle sugar as well. 
skin tags are a sign of prediabetes or diabetes. So what you want to do is you want to go on the diabetic diet, which is, as we were just talking, um, less sugar, less carbs, less bread, pasta, potatoes, rice, things that break down into sugar, certainly desserts and fruit juices are, are to be minimized, or if not completely avoided. And then using nutrients to help your body process sugar, selenium, sulfur, taurine and arginine are two amino acids that can help you. Chromium and vanadium in our sweeties will help you. You can find out all about that at brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And then the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Ultimate Niacin. Uh, fiber, beginning your meals with some fiber pudding, which I call, I call it fiber pudding, but you grind up flax seeds in a coffee grinder, mix it in with some unsweetened almond milk, starting your meals off that way or starting your meals off with vegetable juice can help. That can help you lower your calories and, and lower your uh, or reduce your intake of the breads and the pastas that we tend to munch out on when we're hungry. Treat yourself like a diabetic because you're on the road to it, my friend. But don't, I don't mean that in a mean way because we're all on the road to it just the way we live our lives. That's basically what I would be doing for you. And of course, the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Anything else, Rodney? Does that help you? It, well, the uh, retin-A, the remove these things. Yes, tags, yes, the retinol. kind of ugly. Yes, get some ret. Go to. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, topically, you can remove skin tags with my retinol five percent gel. Go to truthtreatments.com, uh, but they'll come back if you don't address uh, address the blood issue. Uh, but yes, you're absolutely one hundred percent correct. Retinol can help remove skin tags. Go to truthtreatments.com. Get our retinol five percent gel, and uh, make sure that you will send you a little sample of our omega six healing cream with it. Make a little donut with the omega six healing cream so you don't overdo the retinol on the good skin. But if you put it all, right on the skin tag, maybe. Uh, uh, three or four times a week, it should flop off eventually. I'm going I'm to get uh, one more call. Where, 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 yeah? where do ahead. I order that? Uh, truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, God bless you, my friend. All right, Peggy in Austin, let's see if we can get you real quick. What's going on, Peggy? Hi, Ben. Uh, I have an 86-year-old friend who had shingles, and he got Ooh. over the shingles, you know, in a couple of months. But yeah. uh, he's been suffering really bad from uh, shingle nerve pain for the last year. That's terrible. And he can't. It, it's real hard for him to sleep. And yeah, they've awful. tried gabapentin. That made no, it they're silly. Tonight. Those they are silly. There's nothing. No, work. no. There's nothing a doctor can do. It's a sign of an uh, of a jacked up or of a sensitized immune system, a weakened immune system system. So you got to work on the immune system, all the nutrients. You're not going to target the shingles by itself, but you can make the body stronger. So important, you guys. You can't target, many times you can't target the problem itself, but you can make the body stronger, and then the body and the divine force and God, whatever you want to call it, that will take care of the problem. So let me give you a bunch of stuff, and you may have to just listen to the archives, because I'm going to go fast. B vitamins, like they're going out of style all day long. Sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and make sure he's getting extra ultra at niacin, and then also uh, have him do some B12 injections. 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. Absolute must-have for all immune system problems. Also, that's very good for sugar, too. High doses of vitamin C, even going as far as uh, in, uh, intravenous vitamin C. But certainly, if you're going to do orally, it's certainly 2 to 3 grams a day. Uh, if he goes IV, IV glutathione can be very helpful. That's spelled G-L-U-T-A T-H-I-O-N-E. And then 600 micrograms a day of selenium. Vitamin E, 400 IU a day. Alpha lipoic acid, 400 milligrams a day. NAC, NAC, uh, 400 to 500 milligrams a day. I wish I had more time, but that's it. We are just out. Hopefully, I'll see you in Austin tomorrow at the West Westlake Bowling Lanes. Call 512-507-2928 for more information. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.